Hey guys, just before the video starts, I just want to say, um, if you want a very friendly, very active Discord server uh, that's all about Stormworks, um, there is a link in the description to a very good server that I'm on um, that I would actually like you to join. It's it's a great server, so yeah, thanks. Okay guys, so today we're going to be looking at how to make some fuel tanks. Let's go. Okay, so to start out with, I'm just going to build a platform. Um, and what we're going to do is we're going to connect a fuel tank to a pump with an outlet, just so I can demonstrate it to you. So, things you need to know about a custom fuel tank is that they can be any shape, um, but they need to have a fluid spawner, and they also need to have a solid outside or a, a sealed outside so if i was going to do this this wouldn't work as a custom fuel tank you will not spawn in because it's not sealed if i was going to do this it would spawn in because there is no way for anything to get in or out x at all so build up something like this it can be any shape um, purpose of proving that to you, I'm just going to build a little bit off the side. So that's our fuel tank. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take out three of these blocks. I'm going to take out two here and one here. One of them has to lead outside, the other two can be anywhere. But, one of them is going to be our fluid port. So, put that there. And the other two are going to be our fluid spawner, which you can find in the fluid section. Scroll up, sensors, fluid meter. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to get a pump. Um, you don't have to do this, I'm just going to do it anyway. So I'm going to get a pump. Um, if you want you can do this as well just to test that everything's working. I'll get a pipe. And a fluid port. Uh, I'll get a battery as well. And we'll get a blessing. Uh, so connect that up to our electricity. Now what we're going to do is we are going to look at how we can use this fuel tank. So I'm going to get two dials for the measurements. So we have a fluid level and a fluid capacity. So I'll just rename this to level capacity. to our electricity. Now, if you go into a select mode, you can see that the fluid spawner, we can change the fluid type. So we can have diesel, jet fuel, and water. Or empty, but I don't know why you'd have an empty. You might as well not have one of these. We're going to set it to water. So we spawn water inside here. And what we're going to get is the fluid. So the fluid level is turns the pretty much the amount of fluid in a physical like, enclosed volume or a sealed volume. But if it's not sealed, it will give you the height relative to water if it's not enclosed in anything. Fluid capacity turns the total capacity of an enclosed volume in litres or zero if not enclosed. So if it's in an open area it will just give you zero but if it's in an enclosed volume this will give you the, the fluid capacity will give you maximum amount of fluids you can have in here. So 
In the case of a fuel tank, this will give you how much fuel you actually have, and this will give you the maximum. Outside of a fuel tank, this will give you zero, and this will give you the height relative to water. Now, I'm just get everything's hooked up, everything is fine. So, we have our fuel tank. We can see that capacity 12,750 and the level is 12,742.86. Well, 8593. So yeah, you get the idea. So, as you can see, the fuel tank doesn't fully like spawn fully closed, but you can pump fuel back in or water or whatever. But, we press the toggle button, shooting water up. You can see that the, the actual level of fuel is going down. Go into photo mode. See that very slowly it's going down. But uh, yeah, that's how that's how you make a custom fuel tank. Um, you can hook multiple ports into these, and yeah, I'll uh, I'll see you for the next one. Bye.